question. We're yeah. talking about apologies and accolades. So we're going to start first with the apology. We see that Rasby comes to apologize mm -hmm. to Jonathan. As he should. Just wanted to make peace with you. You know, I feel like I was a little out of character. Like me, you never had any beef, so I kind of feel like I'm, I'm mature and wise enough to uh, make better decisions. So I just wanted to like let you know my bad. What you think about that there apology? It was funny to me. I was laughing because like, Raz B, when he apologizes, especially when the confessions come up, the every little thing he say, mm -hmm. it's one of the type of things where I'm making, I'm doing this because it makes me look good. Pretty it's much. not from like a genuine place of like, I'm Pretty sorry, much. this, that, another. This is the bigger thing to do. So I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from so you can see why I did what I did. No, it's all good. He got punched in his face and bruised up. He had no choice but to be genuine because he know he can't fuck with me. Pretty much. And, it, <laughs> and then, but Jonathan was like, Jonathan made it even funnier. Hyping you up. Right, he was like, somebody hyped you up to do that? What possessed you to come and bring my dad on the set? Right. <laughs> oh, come stand next to me. Right, he said, the part that had me laughing the most is like, oh, he came in, the, in there with the mask. I mean, I had his face up. Uh, <laughs> I was cranking up. Crazy, let me see your face. Right. But he, like he said, he apologized because he know he can't whoop me. Pretty That's nice. the reality. Because his confession, he's like, I don't know if it's even safe for me to come back in this house because you're going to get that tornado. Jonathan, because you keep running them choppers. Got to be quiet. <laughs> One thing I noticed about him, he, he doesn't hold on to beef. But if you want that smoke, he'll give it to you. But other than that, it was just for the TV. That's what I say. <laughs> My thoughts are, at this point, I don't even know why <laughs> Raz B is still on the show. Like, they don't the really have a problem in life. Felt offended. The guys would like to have a conversation with me. You can set it up. Talk to the guys. I know they feel some type of way. Because he's a producer. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you, a producer can be hired and fired. So I don't know why he's still on the show. Because my thing is this. With every show... I'm quite sure there's a line that you don't cross. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite sure the line is bringing <laughs> weapons on the show, weapons of mass destruction. Why would you bring a motherfucking knife on the motherfucking city? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you bring a weapon and still be allowed on the show? To me, that's a line that was crossed. Not only are you bringing a weapon, but we know your mind state, your, your state of mind, rather. We know that you, you're, you're illegal, you drink, supposedly do drugs. You supposedly have mental issues, and on top of that, you're gonna put a weapon with that. To me, that's that's just a recipe for chaos. For Raz B to pull out a knife, I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with him. So I don't understand why he's still there. Like you said, producer, so what? Producers can be hired <laughs> and fired. I mean, to me, the the liability to me of him being on the show outweighs whatever money he's putting in to be um, a producer. And like you said, the apology <laughs> to me was for TV just to justify him continuing on the show. Well, we got to make this look good. So let's, let's, let's make you apologize to Jonathan and whoever else so that it, it'll justify you being on the next two, three, four, five episodes or whatnot. Because <laughs> I think people are a little upset about you know, how things went down. So this conversation is going better than I thought. The fact that he's giving me this opportunity to have this conversation with him. And he's in a and, he, and he's receiving it. I feel like me and Jonathan can be friends. And to me, Rasby, just in general, um, he reminds me of, or his apology reminds me of being in an abusive relationship. It's just a cycle. Yeah. I blow up. Yeah. I do something destructive. I come back. I apologize. I gravel on my knees. Please, please, baby, please, baby, baby please. Ah. Take me back, type thing. And then I'm cool for a minute, and then I press repeat. I'm I'm back at it again. So, nah. And you know what I also think? Right, we want to be viral. Like he oh, wants yeah. to stay relevant. So even with him being a producer, he probably is taking that overboard. Mm -hmm. Like you said, that when they showed us that footage of Jonathan hitting him, mm -hmm. that wasn't Zeus cameras. Right. Somebody. He had somebody come in, follow him, come in, and purposely record him do what he's about to do. So he's right. Once again, he's cloud chasing, looking for a moment. I feel, I want to really so, know, why did you come in the building like that, the studio? I, did somebody hype you up? Right, right. And that apology was a moment. So. Pretty much, right. And like you said, and there's also 
little scenes throughout other episodes where you see people are saying, is this for TV mm. or is this real? I, I honestly, bro, I don't know what the fuck is real and what's it's not anymore. It's all TV, nigga. It's all TV, nigga. Or like I say, Rasby is doing too much or, you know, Rasby is on the internet, you know, showing things and yada, yada, yada. So it's like, yeah, he, he, he needs bad boys way more than bad boys need him. I'm a young buckaroo. Don't play with me like that.